What's up folks? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a little gem called Battle Axe. It is a game made by Numbskull Games. I don't know if you guys have heard of them before. They're a little group that makes mini arcades and all kinds of different things and plus they do little, you know, little bite-sized games like this one. If you're a big fan of uh, Gauntlet and games such as that, and uh, if you had a TurboGrafx-16 back in the day, uh, Dungeon Explorer, you know, it was uh, a lot like Gauntlet. This game is essentially like that too. You have three characters you can choose from. Your traditional kind of stuff like this. You've got a wizard, you've got some sort of mage something, and you got a brute. You know, one has a knife, one has spells, the other one pretty much shoots projectiles. But it's the same kind of premise as Gauntlet. You have portals that are on the ground and that's where all your enemies come out of. And you have to go around shooting all the enemies, all that kind of stuff, find the portal they're coming out of and destroy said portal. When you close said portal, the enemies quit coming out. You have friendlies along the way that have been captured and all that. You uh, free them. Um, and you collect money, coins, jewels, all that stuff. And in between each level, it's very much like, say, Golden Axe was, where you had the uh, little dudes come out and you could hit them and get coins and all that kind of job. Well, this is something like that, but you can take all the money and then in between each level, you can buy food or upgrades, stuff like that. None of it's really that big a deal. It's just a little extra something they throw in there. It's not like in the game you... Um, per se can buy armor or stronger weapons or nothing like that it's um it's it's just for like health in between levels food and all that kind of stuff now i will say this about the game it's a ton of fun a lot of fun you can play two player yeah two players at once i was thinking three but i believe it's two players at once um loads of fun and two players will help you in this game because it is tough as nails I mean, tough as nails. Um, the second stage is as far as I've got. Now, I haven't sank a ton of time into it. I probably got a couple of hours in it in between, you know, doing stuff around the house and all that. And uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. And it's just, the thing I like about it so much, it's like I said earlier, it's a little bite-sized game. You can sit down, you can play it. You don't have to invest a lot of time in it. You can do it before you got to do the stuff we have to do now like wash clothes cook dinner all that job but uh it's a lot of fun it is i got it through limited run when it came out it's not a limited run game it was just distributed just i can't say it distributed by limited run i do believe it's available on amazon and i have seen it in some retail stores i think best buy carries it as well it's not a super expensive game. It's a small kind of limited game, but it is out there to get. You could probably go to Numbskull's website and I wouldn't doubt they sell it. It was on everything. I have it for the PS4, but I think it's on the Switch. Um, it's I, probably on Steam. I mean, what isn't on Steam? But uh, really, a really, really fun game. But know this, like I'm saying, I ain't joking about tough. I mean, it's tough. At the end of each stage, you have a boss. As it goes, you know, of course, the bosses get stronger and stronger. If anything, I could compare it to other than Gauntlet and Dungeon Explorer, I would probably say it reminds me a lot of Xenocrisis, too. Xenocrisis, if you guys have played that, is um, it's similar to this in how it's kind of a running gun shooter kind of deal. Um, I didn't really think of that till just now, honestly, but it does. It reminds me of Xenocrisis quite a bit. That's something I need to do a video on too. If you guys haven't played Xenocrisis, check that unit out. It's pretty bad. But anyway, that's really all I can really say about this game. I mean, it's it's just super fun, super cool. It should be on the cheap by now. I don't think it's very expensive at all. Because, I mean, I, you know, when I bought it new, I don't think I had but like 30 bucks in it. It seems to be a theme on this channel with me. I wait till everything gets old and I ain't got nothing in it, you know. I get it for pennies on the dollar. But anyway, all right, guys, that's really all I can say about that game. Definitely, though, check it out. It's definitely worth the money. And uh, anyway, thanks for checking the vid out, guys. Have a good one.